All right, guys, so you should have just watched this video resources and quickly recapped what they are. Remember, we learned that natural resources are natural things in the world like water, soil, okay? Capital resources are tools that we use and um, human resources are people, okay? So let's talk a little bit about the human resources in Rome. Okay, human resources are jobs, and the people of ancient Rome had many different jobs. Some of them were shipbuilders, fishermen, artists, and farmers. Let's talk about the shipbuilders. Shipbuilders were needed in ancient Rome because Rome was made and located right next to the Mediterranean Sea. People needed a way to travel across the water. Ships were also needed to trade across the Mediterranean Sea. Fishermen were another human resource here. Since Rome was located on a peninsula and had a river, the Mediterranean Sea and the Tiber River were important natural resources. Fishermen fished to provide food for their families and trade for other crops and items they may need. Ancient Rome had a lot of artists. The ancient Romans were known for many different forms of art. Some of those include pottery, mosaics, and sculptures, like this one here. They used their art to tell stories and display culture. A mosaic, we learned yesterday, is a type of art that is made by placing small stones, tiles, or glass pieces together to make a larger picture. And finally, farmers. The land in Rome wasn't flat, as we already learned. They had to adapt to the hilly places because of the mountains and the good soil in Rome was limited. They have mostly clay-like soil, a lot of clay in their soil. The Romans used a type of farming called terraced farming, which is shown below. This allowed them to grow more crops with a limited amount of good soil and space. The most common grown crops in Rome were olives and grapes. Like the ancient Greeks, the ancient Roma, Romans were traders. <laughs> it sounds so weird, but what it means is like trading a baseball card. That's the kind of trade we're talking about here. As Rome grew in population, that means there were more people there, the needs of the people living there became harder to meet. The Romans began to trade with other civilizations along the Mediterranean for the goods they wanted and needed. When groups depend on one another for goods and services, they share economics, economic interdependence. Okay, guys, so now you got to show what you know. What are the natural resources of Rome? What are the capital resources? Those are like the tools that they used. And what are human resources in ancient Rome? Okay, go ahead and give that a try now.